There you go. Because the next thing um, that I want to talk about was the the problem solving and the three C's. Yes. Yes. So how you just said that getting into the problem solving mm-hmm. and whatnot. So what do we? So life is complicated, right? Right. And there's things that are thrown at you and situations that are thrown at you that you have to be able to adjust and you have to be able to adapt. I mean, that's that's just part of life. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to innovate or die. Right. That's the thing. So you set your goal. You, under, you understand your why. You, assert, you, you understand your goal and you set your action plan. You have to understand that there will be problems along the way and challenges on the way. First, you try, you're going to try to predict what some of those issues might be. Mm-hmm. Right? That's what you do in strategic planning. That's what you do. What are some of those issues that might, that it might be? For instance, let's say you're the young person that moves out by August, right? And you say, okay, I have, I, I was able to save, my expenses are $1,000 a month. I, I was able to save $6,000 for just my, to cover my expenses for six months, right? So I have six months to find a job that gives me $1,000 a month. Mm-hmm. But you in month number three, and you haven't found that job. Mm. What are your options? That's a challenge that you need to figure out how to do it, right? You need to have to you have to figure out how to manage that, mm-hmm. right? One of the issues that 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 for instance, one of the challenges that you confronted, right, is that you started in in one area, human services. Mm-hmm. actually business and human services, the public administration. And then when you went into public administration, you realize, oh my God, there's a lot of gaps in leadership when it comes to public, public administration, right? Mm-hmm. So then what did you do? I looked for a, a, d- a degree that would give me a strategic leadership aspect. Exactly. That's what I wanted. So when you set the map, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And you set the roadmap and you saw the challenge, it's like, oh, this is a challenge but here's an opportunity for me to learn that and then be able to go back to the public service d- degree and be able to apply these leadership skills to this particular thing. Mm-hmm. So, it, you know, as you begin to develop, then you start seeing all the little branches mm-hmm. of stuff, right? It's the same thing with, with <coughs> here. You know, we started, you know, our, our son Jacob started producing and, 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 and then editing everything. And it was a lot of time, you know, for from him to be able to do that. So you started researching and you start looking into OBS and you start looking into all these things because you have to figure out a way to make things more streamlined right. and make it more efficient. Right. You well, know, if not, this this could consume an individual. It could consume. So, it could consume a lot of your time. Other things going on. Another. So then, what do you mean by like the three C's? What C's, is that? Yes. Then? So comes, what, this is a, applicable to problem solving. Yes. This is. This is. This is. Um, Ken, who was our, 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 our scout master, he used to call it the three C's, you know, uh, and this is just back in the early 90s that he taught us this. Um, people right now call it the con- um, uh, the constant improvement cycle, mm-hmm. right? Is that, so you check. So you have your plan, mm-hmm. right? You adjust it for any challenges. Now you have your targets, right? Because you set smart goals. You know, they're measurable, they're attainable, they're t- they have a timetable. So let's say three months come in, Right. And your goal was to maintain and sustain for, let's say, that young person maintain and sustain a thousand dollars, you know, living by by, getting a job by by myself, by getting a job and doing that. Mm -hmm. If three months come in and I haven't accomplished that, then you have to check. I mean, three months come in because as you have to measure it in three months. One, am I making a thousand dollars each month? If the answer is yes. Great. Mm-hmm. You continue. Yeah? Right? Because you check. It didn't it, it's working, so you don't have to cancel it. So the continue check, doing it. The check is comparable to evaluating to assessing. Where, or to assessing where you are at this point. Exactly. Yeah. And just just assess it. Mm-hmm. Right? You're assessing that it's working. You're mm-hmm. checking to make sure that everything's working. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. If something's not working, oh my God, this is not working. Like living in this place by myself. I live in an efficiency, and but there's people living in here, mm-hmm. and they make too much noise, and I can't sleep, and I can't study. I have to change something. Mm-hmm. So you check. I got to cancel that, mm-hmm. and I got to come up with another plan. Right. And then continue. So then you go back to the drawing board? Yes. And then now you have to find another place to live. 
So it's not really back to the drawing board. It's more like right, these things are working. So I need to fix this uh, um, aspect or I need to address mm -hmm. this aspect to exactly. keep going on this And path. there'll be parts of things that are just working just perfectly. That you don't and need to do anything And like. then there are other aspects that, are, oh, I could do this much better. Right. I could change this. I could let me cancel that and improve on this, mm -hmm. you know? Like so I could the whole idea then really is that when you do this constant improvement plan or, mm -hmm. or check, the, co the constant continue, improvement cycle, right, yeah, that you are becoming even you're 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 adding to your that that self esteem security aspect because you're still okay. That didn't necessarily work out, mm -hmm. but I'm aware enough to understand that this was a possibility. Yes, and now I can implement another plan or mm -hmm. another way of getting to this goal this yes. overarching goal and i think this is where most people go go instead of quitting th that's what this, well, this is what is demoralizing right because you feel like okay i should accomplish this in in this goal because you have this <sighs> you have you have like you, you <laughs> like let's say for instance when you buy when you buy like a diet program or something like that the expectation is said oh my god i lost 45 pounds in three months so your expectation is said that you're going to get there in that particular amount of time mm -hmm. even though they say no you know all the things vary you simple. see that because that's the power of advertising you know that's the power of things you know by the time you're 25 you should be here 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 if you're not here 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 you're done but again it's like everybody's different everybody's quest is completely different it's like even thinking about like, for example, um, I know an individual who was unfortunately, um, you know, he separated from his position and, you know, had he not had that presence of mind to say, I'm in this really great position right now. Uh -huh. Let me get myself out of debt. Let me take care of this. Let me, uh -huh. get, let me get, he had an action plan. He paid off some debts. He did this. He did, he did all these different, he did the goal setting. He did all of that stuff. Mm hmm then he was separated from his position. Mm -hmm. Then he was like, oh, shit. Okay, but I did this, 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 and this, and this. So I don't really need a job that pays me this much money. I could really live off of this mm -hmm. just in case I don't find a job that pays me this much and money. And I could do other things. And I can do, exactly. Yeah. Now this person is actually um, working not a mediocre job, a job that he likes, mm -hmm. but he's also now doing um, some sort of art or whatever and pursuing other passions that with this other job, well, he wasn't, he able, wasn't to do. able to do, so, which I thought was really, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, it's eye opening. It's just like, oh, wow. That's because you start discovering, again, going back to the basic needs, yeah. right? Going back to the basic needs. As to what do I really need in my life? And he said that. I wasn't really doing things that I wanted to do. I was just living for this job. Yes. And not doing all these other things that I enjoy. Now, again, and I said this before, right? Because we have, I mean, right now, the big the big thing in the news is the the great exodus from the working, wow. the working world, right? Yeah. So if people are finding all the ways and means to have their basic needs, basic needs met, instead of going to a place that is demoralizing and enslaving and and not asserting of the self like why do you think that happens it's like so when you start looking at an at a society and then you start eva evaluating okay what really is important is the, the economy the important thing or is it the well-being of his individuals yeah. i thought society was meant for the individuals not so when you start looking at those things then you start understanding like and people may not be able to articulate it but the idea is that it's like they want to live a life that is more fulfilling. 